Hello, it is me, Moira. Um, I pff, wasn't going to make a video, but uh, everybody, and I mean everybody, appears to be making um, collage paper or franken paper, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I thought I might as well, ah, sorry, I might as well have a go um, and show you how or what I can do um, and hopefully it will maybe make you think of things in another way um, I don't really have scraps I, I don't keep scraps as such um, occasionally I'll have wee bits and bobs lying about my table um, but in the main I don't I certainly don't have a scrap pile I did at one point do it and I found that I just never used them and it had reached the stage where they were nuisance value because they were taking up room in my desk and seriously um, if there's one thing I need it's more room so consequently the scrap pile went for a bottle um, I, I just tossed it because it was I mean it just wasn't worth keeping I had a, don't get me wrong I had to look through it and saw if there was anything um, and things like if I had pictures or photos then yes I kept them but bits of paper um, I'll only hold on to them if they're a certain size or if they are um, something significant like you know, maybe gold paper or not so much gold paper gold card or silver card because these are things that are at a premium they're not cheap and I use them quite a lot so what I have done is I've looked through some papers and taken some small sections from them um, and what I think is a nicer finished paint just on a personal level purely personal here is I really quite like uh, torn edges as opposed to just you know here's a long piece of paper that I'm going to stick down um, I think it's mostly because when I look at them and I see a straight line there's something not right about it, do you know what I mean? It should be covered in some fashion. If you're going to sew on it, fair enough. As you know, I'm not a big fan of the sewing machine. Um, if you're you know, going to cover it in some respects with maybe something like washi tape, fair enough. Again, you can. it, it just looks like a neater finish than just leaving a straight line on something. So um, I've taken a book page and I've taken a sheet from my music book and I have a variety of little bits of paper that I tore um, to give them a kind of uneven edge. I've also, in um, three of the wee bits of paper, I have um, run them through the big shot with an embossing folder. Hopefully you can see that okay. Uh, same embossing folder on them all, just to give them a bit of pattern and a bit of texture. And it may well be the case that I add to that at the end because I bought this stuff the other day Metallic Gilding Polish by Cosmic Shimmer. This is Indian Pink Gilding Polish and I haven't used it yet but I'm very interested to see what sort of results I can get when I go over things. So what we'll do is we shall get started. Um, I'm going to stick them on a piece of tea dyed paper uh, so that they can either ultimately be used as a, what do you call it, they'll either be used as a page or alternatively uh, possibly pages because I don't make big journals um, so you know I could half it and have two wee pages uh, so it'll either go to make pages or it will be used to make tags ultimately but we'll see how it looks and judge from there what we're going to use or what we're going to use it for I am going to use matte gel to stick stuff down and I actually meant and I forgot to do it to get some wash out before I started just in case I feel I need to add something somewhere I'll just get one of my rolls of washi tape with pretty flowers on it and some wee words I also plan on doing a, a little bit of stamping on this and I'm going to use that metallic gilding uh, polish stuff to, to do that. So I've got one bit of paper with a straight line 
I need to tear up the music sheets in some respects. Oh, sorry, I'm sniffing here. Um, I'm just in from having walked the dogs and it's, it's really pretty cold out there. So, uh, it's absolutely um, chittering here. Um, pure Baltic, as we say in Glasgow. That probably doesn't mean a lot to a lot of people, but I think it's um, the winds that come up from the Baltic Sea. And it's just always been the phrase that folk use to describe it as being cold, it's pure Baltic. Um, last year my son was working at, um, there was a Glasgow Film Festival and um, one of the things they did was uh, they did a series of films from Eastern Europe and they called that section Pure Baltic. It had nothing to do with the cold but it was just it was the area that it had come from. This looks as if I've not used enough glue. My matte gel's nearly done and I've actually ordered some yesterday. Um, because you need your matte gel, don't you? I've also ordered some more, uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? Fabri-Tac, because my Fabri-Tac is getting quite low. Um, and I do Although sometimes I, I don't, it, it doesn't work out great for me, it's in the main, it probably is one of the sort of quicker drying glues there is. Right, this is my one piece of paper with a straight edge, so I'm going to stick it there. The one thing I will need to do is I'll need to let this dry before I try to stamp on it. Uh, because it just won't, it'll not work. In the main, the papers I've used here are um, pink floral papers, apart from this one that I'm sticking just now, or gluing, should I say. Um, this one is a, it's, a, it's from a Stamperia pad, and it was a lilac pad. Uh, so it's got butterflies on it. I'm sure it will look okay. I don't uh, I want this when it's done to, you know, just basically look as if it was made on the hope, which is uh, probably par for the course of things I do. I think uh, the likes of this, I know you can obviously use the likes of your Mod Podge, I, I can barely say that, Mod Podge to do this, um, but I really don't like Mod Podge from the point of view or that it is, um, it leaves a kind of sticky surface once it's, it's dry and I think it's quite difficult to work with because of that. It's, it just doesn't, it doesn't come across as a, uh, favourable. It just causes nuisance because obviously your pages start to stick together if you put them in a book um, and even if it's a tag, the tag sticks to whatever you've, you know, if you've put it in a suck spot or something like that. So I don't, although I've got Mod Podge and I did use it in the beginning, um, once I started using it and I realised there was a bit of an issue, um, I frantically searched around for an alternative 
and the alternative was matte medium uh, or matte gel. Uh, matte medium, I've got matte medium but I find it's, I don't know if it's maybe just the one I got, but it's very watery. Um, so I don't, uh, I find it's, uh, it's a bit too fluid for my liking to use, so um, that's why I, I prefer the matte gel. I think matte gel's pretty good. It seems to stick reasonably as well. You look at this and you think to yourself, if I get enough paper, and you know, I don't know if I have, but we'll soon find out. Now I'll need to ground the edge of this, obviously, uh, to ensure that it's uh, straight. But again, that's one of these things you do when it's dry. This paper, um, it's obviously stuck to another sheet when I was doing the tea down, which is another good reason to use it for this, because at least then you're not seeing any, any damage on it. You can hear a growl at the back, which means there's an SQ Earl on the go. We had a wee bit of a, when we came back in from our walk there. We had the mad half hour where we all run about frantically chasing each other, um, which seems to be very pleasurable for the dogs. I don't think I've got anywhere near enough paper here, do you know that? I don't think I've got enough at all. Right, give me just two seconds. I'm going to open that door in case Chuck wants to bet chase a squirrel. Yeah, she went to chase a squirrel. Do you know what? I think I might put a bit of that washi down this side. I ordered another couple of washes yesterday as well, um, just off eBay, uh, put in what I was looking for, and it, needless to say, what I was looking for isn't one of these things you get a lot of, but I managed to get some, so that'll hopefully show up shortly. I'm really slapping this on. It's just occurred to me if I used, I think I'll need to use this for tags because what I should have done was given that it's highly unlikely I'd make a book journal that goes that way, my writing will be in the wrong direction. So this is going to have to be tags, you silly puppy Moira. Oh well, I don't suppose it really matters. It certainly 
it saves on. I'll tell you something, it really does save on effort when you're doing tags like this, you know, you just do a big sheet and let it dry and then cut it down because uh, it's just so much quicker. It's thing is though, I mean, it's not as if I really want to necessarily uh, do everything dead quick. It's just, it does, um, it takes a certain aspect out of making a, a journal for me because I tend to deliberate stuff for a while before I start and it can sometimes uh, end up being really time consuming working at like this. on the back. Just standing. Anybody's guess what he's wanting. Just fill in that last wee gap with a bit of book page. And oh no, I've got a wee gap down there as well. Right, now, what I would like to do is still add more washer here, just to add even more interest, do you know what I mean? It's, um, washi is, it's a really useful tool that I don't think anybody uses nearly often enough. Probably because most folk, like myself, were quite scared of approaching it. But um, I think it's a, it's a really useful tool for adding extra interest. And it's not overly expensive in real terms. I mean, it's, uh, it lasts for a good while. You're not, it's not as if you're, uh, you know, going through I don't think I've ever finished any. I've got some that I'm quite close to finishing, but I've never finished any. Right, that's going to do me. Uh, right, so before I go any further, I need to let it dry. Oops, I 
can't get much glue out of my washing tape. I've got to let it dry, and then once it's dry, um, I can. Wait a minute, let's go under that. I want to see about trying to stamp on top of it using um, the gild, uh, metallic gilding polish and see how that goes. So, lid on the glue, what's left of it. I wash my brush out and I shall be back shortly. Hold on, get me back. A wee bit of embossing from something, well not embossing, what do you call it? A wee bit of die cutting that was lying in my desk yesterday. Right, let's let this dry. Right, so we're back. Um, approximately 35 minutes have passed, during which time um, I've tried to let this dry. And in the main it is dry, but there's a couple of bits that are just a little itty bitty damp. I don't think it'll be all that significant to what I'm planning on doing here. Right, so this is uh, that gilding polish stuff. Um, first time I've used it. And don't know how this will go. I'm going to try and use the stuff out the, the lid, first of all. I don't think you need to use a lot of this to achieve what I want to do. And I want to just lightly tap on the stamp I'm using. It washes off, incidentally, so in that respect, I, I'm not worried about the stamp. But it's just to add a little bit of background. Can you see that? Okay, it's uh, it's quite nice because it's it's all shimmery and and pretty. So, bear with me. Oh, chippy chips. Right, I'm coming, I'm coming. On you go. Sorry, squirrel. You know what it's like. Never get a minute. Right. This comes in all sorts of different colours as well, incidentally, which is um, quite interesting. And as is par for the course with myself, I bought more than uh, one. And you can use it to go over embossing as well. I'm going to go over that wee bit there. And that's another wee bit there. Very lightly, but oops. It's okay. <laughs> Apparently it dries quite quickly. So that's that's good. I don't think I put nearly in no, on that one, but it's okay because it just leaves a wee glittery shimmer. And I mean, the whole the whole thing is I want it. Whoops, Daisy. Uh, I want it to be kind of like well, I suppose distressed really. Follow on, but I see I really don't want to. I don't want to dig into this. I'm assuming it. Uh, I mean, it's not. It's not hard stuff. It's quite soft and spongy and whatever. Or however you want to describe it. But I need to get it worked into the spongy bit. I think to get it to cover the stamp better. Let's see how that goes. Mm. 
Can you see it okay? I'm hoping you can catch a bit of the kind of glistening sheen. Just do that bottom corner as well. I can get some more of the stuff on the sponge. I think you really need to try and work it into the sponge really and I haven't done that. I'll work it in, in the lid. Let's see, that should be as okay. Just, um, I mean, it's it's looking all right, and you can you can see it. The only problem I've got with it is I haven't overdone the amount I've got on the sponge, uh, but that will come with time. I'm sure I can overdo it without any difficulty. Right, so that's basically it. I think for the time being, what we need to do now is ensure these bits are dry, and they are. They dry really quickly apparently on paper um, and we can cut this up to make tie so I'll just move my stamp out the way there with me Shove it in the sink Right, I've put the stamp in the sink uh, I'll bring over my trusty Tonic Studios guillotine and we can start cutting this off. I actually uh, WD 40 this the other day. Do you know I'm not happy with that edge? So I don't think it's as straight as it should be. I think it's a wee bit crooked. Oh, I'm all soapy. That's fine. Um, I had WD 40 the hinge on this because it was driving me nuts every time I, I cut anything. It was making an almighty. Well, that's not cut very smoothly, has it? Well, that's a bit rough. Let me correct that. Give me a second. It's okay, that can be covered up. It's a bit rough in that edge there, I don't know. can you see that? But that's okay because we can just put some washi or something down that. Right, that's way too long for a tag, so what we'll do is cut it at five and it can make two tags. I'm cutting them at three inches wide. I think it's just too thick. I've maybe put too many layers on for the skeleton thing that supposedly can cut no bother at all uh, to get through it. Right. I'm not one for giving up. Right, if I make that three inches, that's going to be too long, so we'll make this one two and a half. They should roughly both be two and a half. Cut it five. Cut it four and a half. Wait a minute. Make them both a reasonable size. I don't need all my tags to be, I don't like them all to be exactly the same, I like a bit of, well as you know, I like a bit of a difference. Because the whole thing is, I like things to be as individual as people are. Right, so there we have a 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight little tags um, to use in my next journal. Bear with me till I find. I usually have a wee tag lying about. In fact, it might be in this drawer. Oh, yes. My trusty tag that I use. Uh, so what I'll do here is just use this uh, wee manila tag to get corners. I mean these, um, these and uh, despite the fact that I've done a fair bit of embellishing with these, that isn't um, complete. What will probably happen is I'll find an image to put on top of them in some way um, so that it just gives them a focus, do you know what I mean? Because at the moment uh, they're just they're effectively backgrounds to tags. The other thing I might do with them is a couple of them I might actually emboss in total, you know, uh, using the big shot to make, because I think it would be an interesting uh, finish for them. Did I tell you at one point I thought I would try and get some of these shipping tags because I just I didn't know I didn't know what to call them I did, you know I didn't know they were called shipping tags um, I just knew them as Manila tags so I put into Google Manila tags I was wondering why I was getting all these websites in the Philippines and then it occurred to me that you know Manila is the capital of the Philippines. Um, so uh, Google and their infinite wisdom were being just quite too literal for me. I didn't buy any from the Philippines. In fact I think I had that much difficulty finding them that I gave up. Um, and it's one of these situations where once you give up you realise you can probably make the equivalent so much easier yourself and you can make them exactly as you want them to be made you know, and designed exactly as you want them designed and whatever. Now, I need to, I really need to try and tidy this up a bit. I'm not happy with this side at all. But again, we can, you can cover these kind of things up without any difficulty because it's always easy enough to add a wee bit of lace down the side of something. Um, or you, you're adding a focal image. Now, I don't have... That's the ice cream van, can you hear that? Um, I don't have any focal images ready because this has been an on the hope crafting experience but if you can bear with me what I shall do is uh, tonight or tomorrow I'll print off some images and uh, tomorrow I will film the next section using these and finish decorating them and then that will be that batch of tags ready for my next journal so I hope this has been interesting. I don't think I'll have taught you much that you probably didn't already know because everybody's doing the same sort of thing at the moment. Um, the only thing that's different is that I did the stamp and using the gilding polish and I really like, <laughs> like the shiny shiny, I'm sorry. Um, 
I am I'm not a feminine type person to be honest but at the same time I do like I do like the sparkle and the shine and I know strictly speaking it's not vintage um, but then it's just attractive just to add a wee something to your background a wee bit of shimmer so there you go right that's that um, let me know what you think and if you're interested we could always do some more uh, a bit different because I'll be doing them with a view to doing them as a page in a book as opposed to uh, turning them ultimately into tags so plus by that time I'll have worked in my uh, gilding polish so that it stamps a bit better than it did today albeit that it's I mean it's it's fine what it has, has done because it was I was only looking at it to provide a bit of background and that is I've achieved that because I'll be able to put a focal image on the top of these so anyway that's us right so thanks very much for your time I uh, hope I've not bored you with this um, and that you've seen something that's okay and that's interesting you can let me know what you think and I shall see you all again tomorrow when we'll hopefully be turning these into proper tags by adding a focal image to them okay thanks very much for your time guys see you later bye